the last class la mena paatha maximum minima paatha or function kuduthi we find the maximum value and minimum value of functions of more than one variable so in the class enna paakrana constraint maximum and minima but constraint maximum minima na sometimes uh, we may find out uh, the maximum value of a function of more than 3 and more than 3 variables so which are uh, not uh, independent but this uh, x y z are connected by some relation like uh, i of x y z equal to 0 so this situation is called constraint maxima and minima so or condition ku pon the find the function kena kandupidikano maximum value minimum value kandupidikano subject to this condition i of x y z equal to 0 so this situation is called one constraint maxima and minima so this type of problems can be solved by Lacrange multiplier method. So Lacrange is multiplier method. So in the function again, I'm not going to know maximum or minimum value can be subject to this condition. So you take let h equal f plus lambda into we define a function h which is a combination of f and this phi. So this where lambda is an unknown multiplier or called Lacrange multiplier, right? The necessary condition for this function to be extremized is uh, do h by do x equal to 0, which is nothing but what? Say f x plus lambda into phi x equal to 0. You take it as equation number 1. And then do h by do y equal to 0, which is nothing but f y plus lambda phi y equal to 0 is equation 2. Then do h by do y, do z equal to 0, is f z plus lambda into phi z equal to 0. And then the fourth one, this relation, phi of x y z equal to 0. So these four equations are called the necessary condition for which the function to be extremized. So using these four equations, you have to find out the values of x, y, and z, and then lambda. You, may, you treat lambda as also a one of the variable, right? So these are Lacrange's multipliers method. So we'll do one problem, so then you can understand this. Process. Or find the maximum value of x power m, y power n, and z to the power p, subject to the condition x plus y plus z equal to a. So, Kutrukura function of the more than three variables, right? x, y, z is three variables. These three variables are connected by some relation x plus y plus z equal to zero. So, this comes under one, constraint maxima and minima. So, here you take later f equal or h equal f plus lambda phi. What is f now? So where f equal the function to be maximized is uh, x power m, y power n, z power p and phi equal x plus y plus z minus a. The given condition is phi. Right? Now you go for the four equations and necessary conditions. What will be the necessary conditions? fx plus lambda phi x equal to 0. Then fy plus lambda phi y equal to 0. Then fz plus lambda phi z equal to 0. Right? What is fx? You differentiate with respect to x partially, keeping y and z as constant. Now I will get say so m into x power m minus 1 y power n z power p equal to 0. This is fx, right? You can write it as fx. Then fy equal to n into x to the power m y power n minus 1 z to the power p. Then f z equal p into x to the power m y power n z to the power p minus 1. Then similarly phi x phi x is 1 and phi y 
is 1 and phi z is also 1. Is right? So differentiate partially with respect to x, keeping y and z as constant. Right? You know, substitute these values in this equation. Suppose the equation 1, this implies 1. So m into x to the power m minus 1, y power n, z power p plus lambda into phi x is 1 equal to 0. So this is 1. Then second equation Fy. So n into x power m, y power n minus 1 and z to the power p plus lambda into 1 equal to 0. This is the second equation. The third equation, so p into x to the power m, y equal to the power n and z to the power p minus 1 plus lambda into again 1 equal to 0. This is third equation, right? And then the fourth one, x plus y plus z minus a equal to 0. So this is the fourth equation. So from these four equations, we find out the values of x, y, z and lambda. So from 1, so you can write it as m into x to the power m minus 1, y power n, z to the power p equal to minus lambda. From 2, n into x to the power m, y to the power n minus 1 and z to the power p equal to minus lambda. And third one, p into x to the power m, y to the power n and z to the power p minus 1 equal to minus lambda, right? So these three equations are equal, right? This are from 2 and this is from 3. So from these three equations, we can write it as 1. Say so m into x to the power m minus 1, y to the power n, z to the power p equals n into x to the power m, y to the power n minus 1, and z to the power p equals p into x to the power m, y to the power n, z to the power p minus 1. So from this, we can write as 1. Let's say m by x equals here n by y equal then p by z, is it fine? So from this we can write as one, so m plus n plus p by x plus y plus z. You know this result? So when I this ratio property, see a by b equal c by d, which implies which is equal to a plus c by b plus d. So this is a ratio property. You can apply that here three ratios, m by x plus a equal to n by y equal to p by z, which is equal, you may add the numerator and denominator, m plus n plus p by x plus y plus z. So m plus n plus p divided by this value, x plus y plus z equal to a. It is using 4. So from, compare this, so, so this is 1, 2, and 3, and take it as this is 4. So from 1 and 4, so we can find uh, x from 1 and 4. So m by x equals m plus n plus p by a. Now what is x now? You cross multiply it. So x equals am by m plus n plus p. Right. So from second and uh, fourth. So from second and fourth, what we get the n by y equals m plus n plus p by a. So from this we find out the y. So y equals a n by m plus n plus p. And similarly, you take third and fourth. So from third and fourth, we can get z equal to from third and fourth. So z equal to what we get? A p by m plus n plus p. Okay. So at uh, a m by m plus n plus p and a n by m plus n plus p and a p by m plus n plus p. 
So at this point, the function has a maximum value. Now what will be the maximum value? We substitute in that function. So f equal x to the power m, y power n, and z to the power p. So maximum value equal, we substitute this x, y, z in this expression. This is x, so am by m plus n plus p whole to the power m. Then y is an by m plus n plus p whole to the power n. Then ap by m plus n plus n all to the power p. We simplify it. So a power m plus n plus p. Then here m power n, sorry, m power m, n power n, p power p by m plus n plus p all to the power m plus n plus p. So this is the maximum value. See this problem, a rectangular box I open at the top is to have a volume of 32 cc, find the dimensions of the box that requires the least material for its construction. When the, uh, the material should be minimized, the surface area of the box. So, this is a rectangular box. So, open at top. So, the dimensions we so in the surface area on the minimum of the shape dinner and the material on the minimum of the upper so surface area of this uh, rectangular box and all the surface here come okay so one two three four and five right so you take let uh, x y z be the dimensions are length breadth and height so these are length this is breadth and this is height okay be the length, uh, be the length, breadth, and height. Okay, so length, breadth, and height. Okay, or do the surface area. So surface area equal. So it's a each surface is a rectangle, right? What be the area of this rectangle? So this is length is x, and this height is z. So x is z. Yeah. Length into breadth. We can go on the length is on the breadth. So x is z, are they opposite line? X is z. Right? Upon 2 x is z. And plus another one. So this is another surface. This is y and this is z. So 2 y z. And then bottom. So this is x and this is y. This area is x y. The top is open. So no x y. So this is a surface area. So this area should be what? Minimized. Minimizing, have to minimize this surface area such that the volume is what? So 32 cubic centimeter. So volume equal to what? So length into breadth into height. So x by z, which is equal to 32. Right? Now you take let f equal to the function to be extremized is here this one. So x y plus 2 x z plus 2 y z and phi equals x y z minus 32. And then you take let, let h equal to f plus lambda phi. What is f x plus lambda phi is equal? What is f x? You differentiate with respect to x, keeping y and z as constant. So y plus 2 z plus lambda into here with respect to x you will get y z right equal to 0. So from this y plus 2 z equal minus lambda y z you divided by y z you may get 1. So 1 by z plus 2 by y equal minus lambda. You take it as equation number 1. Right. So another one see f y plus lambda phi y equal to 0. What is f y? Differentiate with respect to y and keeping x and z as constant. With respect to y, x plus this is 0. Then here 2 is z plus lambda into differentiate with respect to y, x is z. Equal to 0. So it implies x plus 2 is z 
equal to minus lambda x z. So dotted by x z. So 1 by z plus 2 by x equal to minus lambda. This is 2. So from third one, so f z plus lambda phi z equal to what is f z you differentiate with respect to z. So I get 2x plus 2y plus lambda into xy. Is right? Equal to z. So it implies 2x plus 2y equal to minus lambda xy and then divided by xy. So 2 by y and plus 2 by x equal to minus lambda. So we take this equation 3. So from 1 to 3, how we can find out the value of x, y, z? So add 1, 2, 3. So 1 plus 2 plus 3, which implies? So left hand side, let's add 1 by z, and 1 by z. 2 by z. Then 2 by y, 2 by y. So 4 by y. Then 2 by x, 2 by x, so 4 by x, which is equal to minus 3 lambda, right? So you can take uh, 2 outside, so 1 by z plus 2 by y plus 2 by x equal to minus 3 lambda, right? So what will be the value of this one? 2 by y plus 2 by x is minus lambda, right? Using 3 in this equation, you may get 2 into 1 by z minus lambda equal to minus 3 lambda. You multiply it, so 2 by z minus 2 lambda, and say the number plus 2 lambda, so minus lambda. Y z equal to so minus 2 by lambda. Is it right? So this is the value of z. You substitute in any one of this equation, you may get the value of x and then y. You substitute in 1, so from 1, so you replace this value. So lambda by minus 2 plus 2 by y equal to minus lambda. It goes right hand side. So 2 by y equal to minus lambda plus lambda by 2. So here minus lambda by 2. So therefore y equal to minus 4 by lambda. Right? And similarly you substitute in 3, you may get uh, y equal. So similarly you substitute in 2, you get x equal to minus 4 by lambda. Now you have to find out the value of lambda. In no result, we are the fourth equation, fourth condition, x, y, z equal to 32. We replace this values, x, y, z. So minus 4 by lambda into minus 4 by lambda into minus 2 by lambda. Equal to 32. Then now, multiply by na minus 32 by lambda cube equal to 32. So lambda cube equal to minus 1. So lambda equal to minus 1. So real known. Okay. We substitute here. So we get x equal to put lambda equal to minus 1. We get x equal to 4 and y equal to 4. Is that equal to 2? So these are dimensions of a rectangular box. Multiply the square, multiplying this, you may get the volume, okay? Length into breadth into height. So, 4 into 4 into 2. So, these are our required answer.